It's uh, Sunday 16th of August and uh, I guess I owe you guys an explanation. Um, so you haven't had a video from me for well over a week. The reality of it is hubby was on holiday um, so we got loads of stuff done and there really wasn't much to record. But as most of you know, I was really suffering um, at the beginning of the year and I'm now on antidepressants and I've been noticing more and more side effects the longer I've been on them. I've started stammering, um, I get leg shakes and all I want to do is sleep in the morning and my headaches have increased tenfold. Um, I've taken some tablets this morning because my headache is so bad um, and I ended up actually staying upstairs in bed until about half past 12 when hubby went to work just to enjoy some peace and quiet um, so I mean there, there have been productive days and there is a little bit to show you and I need to get my arse in gear. I've got some bits on order so I can get them in my shop. Um, but I have made the final decision that as of 2021, I will not be doing any more realism commissions. Realism I will just do for myself and for my Patreons because they are so time consuming. And they're like buses. You either get nothing or you get three at the same time and then you're trying to get things out. And I knew this would happen. It happens with every craft, I suppose, that somebody takes on. When you start doing things for other people, it can sometimes take the enjoyment out of it. And I like to draw things that really challenge myself, like objects, like the watch that I did and, and the skull and things like that. And I'm finding less and less time to be able to do things like that. And I really want to draw things that for me is a challenge and for you has a wow factor. And I'm absolutely loving falling in love again with the Spectrum Aqua Markers. And I've been doing some really, really cute stuff with them. Um, so... Yeah, as of next year, I'm definitely, definitely quitting um, commissions and I'm just going to work really hard on the shop and get in what I can. So here's a catch up of what I have been doing. If you guys follow me on my other social media, you'll see that I had a play on my sister's iPad and created this uh, design here, which I'm going to redo. It's really, really cute the way I've done it, but I want to make the lines thinner and, and things like that. So he is going to be redone. Um, but I absolutely fell in love with the ease of the process. And it's, you know, my background is graphic design. I had my own graphic design business for several, several years. And I've worked with some incredible people. And I'm really proud of some of the brands that are still using my branding 10 years later. And I'm, I've always enjoyed the graphic process. And I think that's probably why I want to stop doing commissions, because I want to go back to the things that I love doing. And everything's become so stressful. I'm finding I'm falling behind on the Patreon tutorials um, and people are getting them in the middle of the month, which isn't a terrible thing because they're still getting them in the month. But I want to be more prepared. And at the moment, I am fighting for my daughter's educational health plan. Um, I'm having to appeal the process. So, I mean, her th her folder is this thick. I'm not kidding you. This is her folder. This is me fighting for everything my daughter is entitled to get. And one of them is the educational health plan. And we are having to, I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of it because it's its just a whole headache. Um, but I'm now having to, uh, <clears throat> God, my throat keeps going. Um, I'm now having to appeal it. And even my send is just like, I can't believe they're doing this. This is an absolute joke. So that's what we're we're working on so along with that I'm obviously getting them the back to school gear my daughter's going up to secondary school now um so we've had to spend ridiculous amounts of money on her uniform they have an iPad scheme that we have to do we haven't got a choice um 
and we still have yet to get trainers and shoes so it's just been really really busy and as I say I'm falling out of love a little bit with doing certain things and I don't want to lose my way because I love doing YouTube I love doing the tutorials um, but I think I shot myself in the foot because I have such a varied style in my art and you know one person will follow me for realism the other people you know for the more the kawaii stuff and you end up having this constant up down in your audience because you know the people that do realism get fed up with seeing the cute stuff and the cute people get fed up with seeing the realism stuff so um i learned a couple of months ago just to stop giving a hoot about it and just do what I love doing and it's made a massive difference to my emotional well-being so there is an awful lot going on in the background and I don't want to blur everything out to you guys because you're probably just fed up with hearing it and um, I'm not going to make this a really boring vlog I promise so if you've got this far well done but on to the good stuff now so as I said I've popped the time lapse up and um, so I had a go at doing that on the iPad so I have decided that I am going to invest in my own and that will make life a hell of a lot easier and actually Amelie in really really enjoyed it and she was incredibly good and quick and learning procreate um so she's going to get a lot out of it too so you know double whammy so let's show you what's been happening so i have ordered two more sticker designs which again i'll pop up here so you can see and i did a bit of a vote in my sticker doodle group um so things i'm looking at doing i thought about doing uh, subscription boxes but somebody asked me something on my tiktok account and it got me thinking and i think i'm going to do mystery bags and the mystery bag will be something, I don't know, two stickers, a print and a bookmark, which is a new product that's going into my shop as soon as my new magnets come through and I can work out what I'm doing. These bookmarks are based on a lot of the sticker designs that I have already, or I have actually, or I have, or I have produced new artwork for it. But this is artwork that never saw the light of day. And he's so freaking cute. And there are four, I think, monsters I created. Uh, I'm trying to think where the other ones are. <clears throat> here, here, here. Okay, so there were four characters all together. I think my kiddo must have the other one. Um, but these are the other two. And I created these about nine years ago around nine years ago for a company that wanted to do some um, healthier sweets for kids um but for some reason they never went ahead i have a feeling that they never went ahead with the business because no payment was made and because no sign off was made those designs are still my own so i've decided to add those onto the design list for kiddos and they're basically over page bookmarks and so you literally open it up like that and then you pop it over your page in your book and it closes with a magnet and i've sent uh test products off to four people and all of them have said that they are really really good quality and they do hold up but they only hold one page so what i'm going to do is i'm waiting now on some bigger magnets and then I'm going to get the products in the store ready. I've also looked at what other designs I can add on. So this is a new one that's going to be going forward. Go camera. And it's find your place in this world. So there's a bit of a pun there if you get it. Um, as well as the original Embrace Your Weird. Um, so it'll have both designs available. I've also made my recent lion painting as a bookmark and it looks incredible i absolutely love it this is just different paper i was testing it on different paper i found that my realism stuff didn't print as nice as i wanted it to and quite rightly actually husband said it looks more like something you're getting a gift shop 
and of course I want to be putting something out there that's a lot more fun and vibrant so originally I had this one and I'm changing this one to one of my watercolor designs just so it has a bit more I don't know I don't know looks cuter and then I've got my monogram ones but I'm going to adjust the design on this because I fear that the center is going to tear too easily so that gives you a bit of an idea of what I have going forward and I've got a specific teacher gift one which I'm going to keep under my hat for the moment um, <clears throat> but I also test printed some new paper that I have and I'm slowly going to start adding my realism prints into the store um, because I found some really beautiful paper that it prints on but I finally got some decent sticker paper that is pure white and prints really nicely on the gloss and it just it's just so lovely and also I'm going to show you on this one if I wet my finger and smudge over the top it's completely resistant it's really good quality paper I had to do a bit of digging and a bit of homework, but oh my God, how cute is that? How cute is that? Um, this is the watercolour version. I said I was going to swap the bookmark over with, so that's the one that we're going to do. So I've been busy working on those. So it's, oh, the headache tablet's are kicking in now. Um, <clears throat> although it's been quiet, I have been busy, if that makes sense. And I have been working on commissions as well and essentially i've been doing a lot of tiktok lives because they help me get my work done and tiktok lives i haven't got to worry about youtube algorithms you know because people can dip in and out as often as they like and it doesn't affect any algorithm so i haven't got to panic about people affecting my watch time and things like that so watch time has a massive effect on how well your videos are then pushed out by YouTube, which is why I'm trying to consider what is and isn't put on my YouTube channel now. Changing the subject completely, I've got to show you this fella. Look, look at him. I found him in a charity shop for £1.50. My daughter got a massive turtle. I mean, these must have been like 15 quid. He's so big the towel's still going there he is he's gorgeous so he sits on my lamp if i can't have the real thing i'm gonna have this this is the closest thing he's really weighty too and it's just started raining and it's delicious we were supposed to have had rain from tuesday onwards and my husband went and got some shopping which if you drove down it's literally a three minute drive and he said the heavens opened and he said he's surprised the Asda roof didn't cave in and I'm out here in my sunnies in the garden enjoying a bit of sun he's like how are you not soaking wet <laughs> so the storm literally bypassed us and we got nothing of it so this this is a real big relief think a bit different you're going outside yeah, just a bit. yeah you're going to enjoy the rain she likes going out in the rain um i think i think that's it on the sticker front um what else have i been doing doesn't sound like i've been doing a lot have i obviously i've you've seen the unboxing videos and things like that and test cutting actually takes quite a while oh and i'm um, hopefully when the ipad comes through it means i can start increasing again on my cutting templates because it means i can photograph all of my illustrations uh, scan them in and i can finally get them turned into cutting templates without it being a major headache and i have some um without sounding big-headed some quite pretty designs the video is probably going to be a bit disjointed um just because i don't really know what to say um and this isn't for the sake of getting a video out i've had a couple of people said to me well i missed a vlog i've really missed your vlogs um have i missed a video because i haven't posted and i, I just wanted to give you an explanation as to why so um between the headaches and the the lack of sleep at night but lots of sleep in the morning um, obviously dealing with lots of situations in the background just has has meant that 
time's been fairly limited and I've been trying to get these commissions done. I want to get these commissions done and finished so I can take a breather. Um, they've been quite intense commissions, so they've not really been something that could be done very quickly. So I've had a commission of four grandchildren, which is nearly finished. And I need to tweak one of them. I've got a commission of the a dog three times on 1A3. And then I've got a commission which is going to take me a very long time. And it's a watch um, with the guy's um, army forces badge. He's in the medical corps, um, so it's the whole thing. It's a whole scene. It's not just a watch. So you may have seen the one with the one on the wrist with the medical tent in the background. It's for him. Um, he's bought a few of me, bless him. Um, but some of the ones I'm doing for him are being printed and then they're going in the Mayfair Bremont boutique. Um, so that's quite cool. And I will probably continue doing commissions for things like that. I just want to slow down on the people and the, the pet portraits because I just, I need to do some more things for me. I do feel like I'm absolutely waffling and this is going to be quite a raw and unedited video. It'll probably be just chopped and changed about where you see things because there isn't a huge amount to show you. Although I might pop this up as a freebie, I don't know yet. I did make myself a get shit done. Yeah, I swore, apologies. A to do, I'm only covering it because it's got all my to do's on there, but do this, do that. And so I made this for me. And do you know what? I've ticked two items off my list. Two items. And these are all the products that I've got to get turned into prints and stickers or stationery. So I think I'm overwhelming myself by the thought that I have so much to do and so little time to do it. And I'm really bricking it when they go back to school because it really makes me nervous because... I've still got a really long fight for Amelie and, you know, Madison's dying in secondary school is all the mother's worry of bullying and the walking to school and all stuff like that. So, you know, natural worries, I suppose. But with that on top of everything and constant headaches, it's driving me crazy. Thing, I'm going to start opening my tutorials up to things like how to make your stickers, how to turn your artwork into stickers, how to clean your artwork in Photoshop properly. I want to make it more of a wider range for various artists, not just for realism, because I have a huge expanse of knowledge, including how to brand your business, how to work on a design logo, the files you should be expecting to get. I want to start making some more of these educational videos. But again, it is just down to time. Once my shop is in a steady flow, I am now starting to get a few more regular sales through the shop, which is amazing. And a few more are going abroad, which is brilliant. Um, I can not leave it running as such because I still want to produce new designs each month. But I can reduce having to do something every day down to maybe doing it once a week. And then that way I can spend more time doing videos for the YouTube, which are not based just around drawing tutorials. Um, once I get my head around Procreate and things like that, you know, even Photoshop, Illustrator, then I don't know. We'll see. But again, I'm yabbering and I'm making lots of waffly noise. So I'm going to cut it off here. If you've got to this point in my video, I love you and thank you for making it this far. Um... This will probably come out on Monday. I am aiming to have a video out on Friday. I'm going to probably do something with the pens, a proper tutorial, a follow along tutorial. Um, and then there will be a live feed this Wednesday. Tuesday is extremely busy. No, Monday is extremely busy, which is why I'm doing this now. Um, so Wednesday, there is absolutely 100% going to be a live feed. So have a good morning afternoon evening whichever it may be from where you're watching and i shall see you in the next video bye guys